these parents going, run off, nebulizer, run off! <laughs> Santander, go, go, go! Hello, what's that crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's that time again, checking out the sexy, the beautiful, the handsome, the amazing. Yes, amazing. Make it flying again. This is very questionable parenting. Mm. Let's go. You got told to fuck off a lot in the 70s, didn't you? <laughs> Parents told you to fuck off, didn't they? If you got on their nerves too much, fuck off. <laughs> I went into the front room once with a packet of Golden Wonder Crisps. My dad's trying to watch the news. The first crunch. He went, will you fuck off with them crisps? <laughs> so I fucked off. I never tell my son to fuck off. What's that, you wanna go ape? You wanna go to go ape, do you? You and 10 mates? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. GBK afterwards? Yeah, GBK afterwards. Then the cinema? Yeah, that's fine, yeah, yeah. Let me go and get three grand out the bank. <laughs> I'm gonna say to him, tell you what, fuck off, will ya? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't play football around the flats. <laughs> I like children, I think they're great, and I think it's great that we don't hit them anymore. That's a big move forward, isn't it? I mean, no one hits their children anymore. Which... Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I did get it when I was younger, and I loved it. N not in that way, stop it. I feel like you do, for me growing up anyway, I feel like it helped me a lot. It, like, I knew not to do stupid stuff. Like when I say I got it, I'm talking, you know, like a little slap air in the back of the head. I, yeah, that was normal. That was normal for me growing up. I probably won't be able to do that to my kids because obviously it's abuse, isn't it? But yeah, sometimes you need that. Let me know down below if you guys went through that as a kid and it kind of helped you. Like now, I've never been in trouble with the with the law. I just know not to do stupid stuff. Today, people are so careful to even shout at the kids. They, they are because you never know how people are gonna you know the social media you might just be giving out to your kid but then that's child abuse your kids get taken away from you you never know but yeah i feel like back in the 90s where i got because uh, i was born in the 90s and i feel like my parents did a good job slapping me in the head and i loved it again not that way let's get back to it which is what makes it so funny when you see it isn't it <laughs> i saw a double clip around the ear hole a couple of years ago, we were on our way to Puerta Palenza, Maloca. That's how you say it. <laughs> we're at the airport. It's a busy Saturday in August. Everyone's very stressed out. This man's travelling with his two children. He's obviously under some pressure. He's trying to get through passport control. His kids are facing the wrong way, probably fighting over something electrical. The man said, I can't let you through. Can't see their faces. He said, give me a second. He leant out. He went, bosh, bosh. <laughs> one got the front, one got the back. I thought I'd said this in my head, but I went, oh, quality. I said, that is quality, man. Respect. The way we've done that, proper. Because you go in a pub now, and the children just run around, don't they? These parents going, run off, nebulizer, run off. <laughs> Santander, go, go, go. Winter and summer. <laughs> you can't say nothing, can you? You have to sit there and put up with it. The cool liberal parents, run off children, run off. You can't go up and say, excuse me, I know you think we think you're cool liberal parents, but we actually think you're cunt lazy parents. <laughs> Fuck with children, huh? Yeah, so I'm just getting flashbacks again. Cause like, I feel like today, you, you go to like Tesco and you see these kids and just running about. Like, obviously, it's all right. Like, it gets to a level where you like, please control your kids, especially when they run into trolleys and all that. Just like me, and they're not on smoke, they're not on toddlers. If they're toddlers, you know, you're like, allow, you know, they don't know what they're doing. They're like two, three, they don't know what they're doing. But if you're like six, five, six, seven, and you're doing that, like me, fix up. Because I know when I was a kid, if I go shopping with my mum and I start running about, I know what's coming to me. But these kids, they, they have no fear. They have zero fear, zero fear. Again, let me know, am I going crazy? I'm still in my 20s, but am I acting like I'm some crazy old man? Am I? That's just the way I see it. I just don't like that. It's so, it's unfair to everyone else. It's just been selfish. Grab your kids, tell them to stop messing about. You don't have to slap them, but just have a quick word with them. It's not abuse. I don't think it is anyway. Let's get back. I could enjoy this scampi in a basket a bit more. 
the revolution will be televised. Are you at or where you at? Yeah. I love reacting to Mickey because he just says things that we all go through. I've said that so many times on this channel, so many times. This geezer is an absolute legend. I'm glad I finally started reacting to him because and um, thanks to you, uh, I think thanks to his company because they don't. I think it's LDS. They don't block Mickey Flanagan stuff. There's some stuff that I do that I get blocked, like Lee Evans. I want to do Lee Evans so bad. You guys don't realize. But yeah, let me know if you want to keep doing Lee Evans. I've done like, I've done like two on Patreon. Uh, it's on Patreon. Check my channel. Even to see more of that kind of stuff that get blocked, you wanna see on Patreon? Let me know, and I keep doing it. And I post to you guys on Patreon. Yeah, thank you so much for your support. I'm going live on November the seventeenth, Friday. If you if this doesn't come out on Thursday, yeah, then come see me on Friday, seven p.m. I'll be live reacting to stuff, and I'll see you then. Bye bye.